Welcome my friends, DaVinci Resolve friends all over the world. Today we will learn how to add any templates, whether transitions, titles, generators, or effects. We will also learn how to add plugins inside DaVinci Resolve, whether it affects FX or audio FX. We will also learn how to add LUTs to use on the coloring page. Also, we will learn how to add sound effects to the audio library. First, add templates. To add templates, go to the Fusion page, then we go to Effects, then we go to Templates, then to Edit, and you will find all kinds of templates. For example, if you want to add effects, click on Effects, then go to the top where the three points, then click on it. The Shell folder will appear. Click on it. The Effects folder will open. All you have to do is drag and drop the file you want to add inside this file. So do with Generators, and with Transitions, with Titles, in the same way. Secondly, add plugins. You should know to add effects, FX plugins. All components are added by programs. For example, the Boris group is a set of programs that work directly when installed on your computer with the DaVinci Resolve program directly, which are paid program of course. As for how to add audio FX plugins, it can be added in the following way. Go to DaVinci Resolve, to preferences, then click on it. After that, go to the system, then go to audio plugins. Then press Add. Then choose the plugin file you want to add. Then press Select Folder. Then you press Save. The file you added will appear here. But where can you find the plugin files that have been added? Go Hard Drive C. Then you go to Program Files. Then open the Common Files file. Here you will find the DFX file for Plugins Effects FX. Here you will find all your plugins files that were added automatically when you installed a plugin program, as I explained before. Four. Here are the VSD3 plugins audio FX files. You will find your addition here if you add something, and it is empty for me because I deleted it, but this is its place if you want to add any plugin in the future. Third, add LUTs. To add LUTs, click on the settings button, then go to color management, then go down, and click on open LUT folder. The LUTs file will open for you. Drag the file you want to add and insert it into this file, then click on update LUTs, then wait a few seconds for the update to finish, then press save. Alternatively, you can add lots through the coloring page. Go to Lotus, then choose any of these files. Then drag the file that you want to add and include it in that file. Then you click on the file with the right mouse button and choose Refresh, and the file that you added will appear directly. Fourthly, add sound effects to the audio library. To show the sound effects, write three stars in the search box here, and it will show you all the sound effects added before if you have added the audio library library from the Black Magic website of the DaVinci Resolve program, and if you did not describe it or did not add any sound effects before, all you have to do is click here. You will see two options. One of them is for the DaVinci Resolve audio library we talked about. The other is for your addition. Click on a local database, then go up to the three dots, click on them, then click on Add Library, then choose the file with the sound effects you want to add, then press Select for Folder. All additions will appear here. This is where our episode ends today. I hope you benefit from it as much as possible. And if you feel that you have benefited, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button. Also, do not forget to hit the like button and comment with any questions. And to a new episode of the Giant Da Vinci Resolve program explanation.